Hey YouTube, this is Lane's Boys coming to you with another video about natural hair and in particular about my henna process and how I mix my henna. So I am using the poor henna that I got from one of my Indian friends. She brought it from a local Indian store and I love this henna as it comes with uh, nine herbs and I was pointing to the price tag. It's $2.99 for 140 grams. And this henna comes with, um, it has nine herbs mixed in it. Uh, you can see that here, hibiscus and brahmi and shikai kai. Just some very hair healing and gray preventing <laughs> and hair fall preventing uh, herbs that I just, I just really love this brand of henna. And it's, uh, it says use this within 36 months. I'm pointing that out here of the date and the date is 1114. So it's very important to check that when you purchase your henna. So it's good. So I am opening up the package and this is what henna looks like. Nice and green. Um, it's not a bright green. It's kind of hard to describe the green, but this is, this is perfect uh, henna. And so I'm just kind of scooching it around in the bowl and I'm using a silver bowl. Now I'm putting coffee powder in mine this time. Um, uh, one of my Indian friends suggested that if you want to get more of a burgundy copperish color. I normally don't do this. I normally mix mine with green tea for hair fall. However, um, I'm trying the coffee powder um, as she, see, see, she suggested. And here I am mixing hot water with it. So the thing about henna is there is loss on the inside of the, um, the uh, plant. However, it takes hours for that to release with, uh, without the plant so that it's um, able to uh, absorb into your hair as far as the color is concerned. If you put it on as mixed right here, it won't do anything. So I am mixing it the night before. It's very important to know that with henna, you mix it the night before and then you let it sit overnight and it's ready in the morning. So this is the proper consistency for the henna. It kind of looks like thick mashed potatoes, um, thick mud, very thick mashed potatoes. So it's like a step before you would probably think that your mashed potatoes are perfect. And here I am covering it with saran wrap to keep it moist overnight because once it dries it becomes a it you know a hard clay and it, you can't use it so i take great care in ensuring that i cover this very well um, as it sits overnight waiting for the dye to release so this is just a video on showing you how i mix it i do do it indian style based on how my indian friends have uh, taught me and I will continue this in the morning after it sits for at least eight hours. And yeah, I'm just finishing covering it here. And as you can see, I'm making sure I get every little bit covered because I do not want this to dry out. So it's the next morning and what I have here is a bowl of curd that I got from my Indian friend. And normally um, this is what they do when they mix their henna um, in the morning after the dye is released. And you can see that beautiful color that it is. That's the color of henna when the dye is perfect. And if I don't have Indian curd, I will go and get Greek plain yogurt, but I prefer Indian curd. So what you do is in the morning, you put a couple tablespoons of Indian curd or yogurt in it and it just gives it a smoother texture. Um, and you'll see when I'm done with this, it'll be exactly like um, a really creamy uh, icing, if you will. And so I'm mixing it through and I wish I had kind of tested it because I'm a cooker, you guys. And you know, uh, if you're a cooker, you base everything on how it feels. Had I stirred this first and felt it, I would have known that I needed a couple more tablespoons of curd. Curd is a little thinner than yogurt, so I'm adding that now. 
Uh, normally, also with henna, you would mix it with a, a, a an acidic. So you would have also did a couple of tablespoons of like uh, lemon juice or something like that. But because I use Nippur henna that has amla in it, um, that is already your acid. So I don't need to add that uh, with this batch that I'm using. So I'm just really mixing this and making sure the consistency is exactly what I want. I don't want it to be super, super thick where, you know, it's ripping my hair as I'm applying it. But I also don't want it to be thin because I don't want it to run all over the place because, you know, henna is, is will turn things colors. So I am done. It's the consistency that I want. It's like an icing. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this and stay tuned for the video on how I apply my henna. Thanks so much for watching.